AutoCAD comes with extra tools, not just AutoCAD. When you install it, there is an option to install things like Design Review. But there is one extra tool that is installed, and it's called AutoCAD Reference Manager. It's a tool that runs outside of AutoCAD that you can use to manage your referenced files. Now, you can't get to it through AutoCAD. Let's open it up. I'll show you how. You go to your Start menu, your All Programs, and then you want to go to your Autodesk area. Go to the version of AutoCAD that you're using, select it, and then go to the Reference Manager. Click there and that will open up the software. It's standalone. It doesn't work inside AutoCAD. It's separate. Now this tool here allows you to manage all of your referenced files. So add a drawing to it. Just click Add Drawings. Browse to your folder where you've put our project files at and go to the Chapter 9 and open up the reference file. Also, let's open up the ICE reference file because you can manage more than one reference file at a time. Now, it gives you some prompts here. This says that drawings that include nested XREFs can be added to reference list automatically. What do you want to do? Now, a nested XREF means it's an XREF from an XREF. So if you've referenced a file that references another file, you can automatically add that to the list, or you can only do what's called first-level XREFs. So in our file ABC example that we gave, when A references B and then we reference A, we also get B. Well, this way you only get A, and so you can manage just that, or you can add them all. Right now, let's only add the first-level XREFs, and this is what you have. I'll just expand this to fill the entire screen. Okay, we have these two main files, the ICE reference file and then the reference file. I can expand this list out, and it shows you everything that you have in here that references it. Fonts, images, this one, remember, has that hockey rink image and then your XREF files, meaning your DWG files. Now in this one, we have the exact same thing. So there are a lot of different things, plot configurations, shape files that you might have, and those could be a line type file, special font, etc. But what you can do here is export a report, which is kind of nice, because you can open up all of your files, or put them in this list anyway, and make a list of what they reference. So if you're trying to do some sort of file management, you can get an idea of what files reference what, so that you don't have to go and open up every AutoCAD file and manually create this list. This will do it for you automatically. So if I pick a drawing or a file, I can do some things with it. I can, of course, add or remove files to my list, export my report that I make, or I can edit these. I can you know, select them all or unselect, that sort of a thing. Now I can view these by drawing or by reference type. And you do have some options. And this just controls the columns that you have displayed up here. So what can I do with these things? Well, one of the nice things that you can do is that you can change the pathway to many drawings all at once. So for example, let's say I'm working on a project. And there are 10 files in that project and they all reference one master base file. Well, let's say I need to move that base file, and maybe the folder changed, and so it broke all of my XREFs. One option is to go into every AutoCAD file that I have in my list, which is 10, and then re-reference each XREF. That's a lot of work. What you need to do then is to come into here in the Reference Manager, load all 10 of those files, and create a new path. So the host drawing or the found path can be changed right here. You can right click on it and hit edit selected path. And now wherever the new path is, I just browse to it and I find it and I hit OK. And it changes that. Now you can do it one at a time or you can select all of them at a time. And it's the same way here. So if I pick all drawings and I can sort them by type. So if I want to change just my AutoCAD files, I can. If I need to change font files or any images, etc., I can just right click on here and hit Edit Selected Paths. And this will update all of them. So it's not a tool that you're going to use a lot, but in the cases that it will help you, it's going to help you so much. 
And to be honest, most users have no idea this tool is even here. So I couldn't give you an advanced AutoCAD training video without showing you this really advanced and handy tool that comes with AutoCAD. It doesn't do many different things, but what it does do is a huge time saver.